Hi my friends, welcome back to my crafty desk. Sandra here at Blossom and Inspire. I am uh, thought I would get back to it. So thank you so much again. I know I keep saying that. Thank you for letting me just have fun with Halloween. I'm really enjoying it. My grandkids and all the my little sweets that get stuff from me every year. I think they really look forward to what they're gonna get. Not knowing exactly, they always know they're gonna get some candy, but they're gonna get some, they always get a tag. At Halloween and at Christmas time, they always get some sort of tag, but it's incorporated in something that I'm making um, for them. Um, Halloween and then Christmas. Christmas, I try to do something that they can use also as an ornament. And they can use their tags as ornaments as well. Anyways, let's get back, let's get back, let's get back to it. We are just starting. So these pieces, um, just to update you, so these pieces right here I had painted, I think it was last year, it was last year or the year before, um, I think it was last year, and of course my Halloween, you know, I'm always adding, 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 and I got too many projects going, and so I had to take things off my plate, I, that's when I started that, I think it was last year, it was when I started that crazy new job, and there's just no way to keep up, anyways, so the, um, I took these off my, off my plate, so I still had stuff to paint, and then I had some done, but I don't think I have enough. My goal is, I think I actually need 48. And so I thought, oh, I'll just make 50. I need this, I need the black paint for the back of these. So let's give them a count. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. I think I'm going to be short, 24, um, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 41. Let me go check the table on the other side to make sure that I only have 41. Okay, I found, I found a few more. So we're at 41, 42, 43, 44. 45 so I'm still three short um, I do have these little hands that I picked up at the dollar store I was gonna I was thinking of doing something else with them but if all else fails I can paint these and I can use these eh, not my favorite thing but this is what I have I went to the dollar store to buy more and um, they don't have any my dollar store does not have any and I need these like right now dang it I'm just so sad I really wanted to get more of these all that, I guess we better get to this project, otherwise it'll never get done. So what I did on here is I painted the backs of these black, and then I painted the fronts of them this color, or these colors. Um, painting them black is pretty easy, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick, off camera, and then I'm going to come back and we will start doing some of the colors so you can see how I did them if you are interest and interested in that part of the process. So I'll be right back, my friends. I thought I'd pop back on here real quick because I, what if somebody doesn't know how to do the black paint or wanted to see how I did it? Either way, I don't know. So I thought I would at least do a couple of them doing my black paint. So I just take my ghost, I have my glove, I've got my little spongy brush, and then I have this little one right here um, just for some, I don't know. I don't really know. I don't even know what the brushes are called. I just knew I wanted a small brush. <laughs> so I just, I don't hold it. I actually set it down and I just pop it around. And if I want it to be textury, I just leave it that way. But I'm just doing this just to pop the paint on easier, save my hand some time. And then I just spread it around the back. I also want the edges to be done. So this is where this one's gonna, and my eyes. I want the insides of my little eyes. So I put the paint like that inside, which is gonna gloppy, get gloppy there, and that's fine. I'll just. Pull that back down. Get out of my way. Am I on the camera? Am I on the camera? Am I on the camera? Oh my gosh. I'm going to get this back down. And I'm just having fun. And this is for Halloween and it's for the kids. So I'm not going to, I'm not too worried about like too much mess. And then I want my edges black because it'll be easier to put any gold or other colors on. And if any color doesn't make it on, then it has my, you know, my, um, my inked edge. <laughs> so to spike. So let's see. So this is all I'm doing. Oh my gosh, I just realized I put on my brand new top. Well, it's brand new to me. It's the one I one of the ones I bought at that yard sale where that lady had all those super nice clothes. I pull this ink or this ink, this paint down just to because I don't want it to be like a big gloppy mess there. 
and then I just set this one aside and that's it that's how I do my back for my my black back for my pieces I'm gonna do the pumpkin anyhow I don't have a smock or anything on so gosh I hope I don't wreck it I hope I don't but the good news is, is I bought this top, the one I'm wearing right now, is because I thought if it did, even if it didn't fit, or if I didn't like the color on me or whatever, I really like it to um, chop up, <laughs> to use. And let me see. Okay, so I'm gonna go in my little corners. That's what this is for, because I'll just, I'll just chew this little brush up, trying to squish it in there. And this actually just, it's just as easy. And I'm just using just regular cheapo cheapo black acrylic paint black is one of the colors I buy in the bigger the things because I'll use it for lots of projects lots of different things in my craft room get in there get in there so let's just see we want to see what a pumpkin looks like too right just in case so you can see how stick it all in there how you just got all that raised paint I don't really want it all raised and I want it to dry faster which I may be using my heat gun on these if I need to. I have so many parts and pieces to my projects that I have to, and I'm doing, I'm, like, I'm doing 50 of them, right? So um, I need to get to it and do it. So missing some little mouth pieces in there. Uh, and I'll come back because the front side of this is gonna be orange. Let's see, and then I'm just gonna, and then I'm just gonna pull my paint. And this is also the same technique I used to get those, um, see that? I just pull in the in the way that the eyes are going. Or what, it doesn't matter. Like see how that, that already looks so cool. So if that was on top of the orange paint, that'd be great. And it, that'll happen later, cause I'll add black and I'll just put them in there a little bit with my, I'll probably use my paintbrush if it, I can't just do it with this. I'll just drop some in there again, like I just did and then pull it. But I do like to do the black first. I noticed last time I did the color first and then the black, and then I had a, then I had to do color fix-ups on because I got too much black everywhere, and then it kind of went back and forth. So this time I'm going to do black first, then my color because I know I'm going to come back with the black a little bit. So now I don't have to do 50 steps. I can just do the three, <laughs> and I have that, and that's just going to dry. Then look how fast these dry because it's just that cheap wood. I'm not sealing them either. So, um, like I said, they're just for the kids. They probably, they don't need them sealed. If the parents want them to be sealed, they can do it. I can, they can put my, whoa. Oh, I got a paint, a paint goober. I don't want to that. If the parents want them sealed, they can seal it. They can use Mod Podge. They can do a matte medium. They can do spraying on it. Um, whatever they want, but that is just a, another step for me, and I don't have time. Now, the kitty cat takes a little bit more time for me because she's, um, I figure she can be a she since, 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 oops, oh, I gotta, I gotta clean my paint thing. I, I think there's a lot of goobers in there. Oh, looks like a, looks like a slug, but it's not a slug. Um, Jack, yeah, because Jack, old oh, Jack O'Lantern over there, old oh, Jackie, I guess, you know, he's the boy, she's the girl, and the ghosts are the, um, they're just like, I don't know, they're nothing, they're ghosts. So, just, so the kitty is, is harder, and maybe this was one of the reasons why I wasn't going to use them before. So, I know I can take my brush here, but... It's just all those little pieces just want to chew this little sponge up. That's all right, I guess. Maybe this will be faster to do it this way and then go back in with my brush. Yep. Yep. Work smarter, not harder. And maybe if I do, I, maybe I'll do all the cats before the pumpkins since they take more time. And then that way, I when I get tired of doing this thing, I'm not like struggling with these pieces. Is that... Do you know what I mean? Does anybody else do that? Do the harder things first and that way the easier things you can just like zippity doodah through it. That's what I like to do. Even in even in school, when I was in school, um, like with math class and stuff like that, I loved math, but it doesn't mean I was great at all of it. So whenever we would get those, um, like I remember back in the day, they'd give us a sheet and we'd have like a, 
I don't know, like a timer that to, who can get done fast. This the fir first, the fastest, getting um, as many answers, if not all of them, you know, right. Anyhow, and that's what I would do. That and on the word searches too that they'd hand us. I'd always go through first um, with the math and I would just go down the line as fast as I could, just everything I knew, every, all the ones I knew, and then I would come back and I would work on the other ones that made me, if I had to look for it, at it longer than just a few seconds. And then I'd come back and do them. And the same thing with word searches. I would just skim my page really fast. First I'd look at the words and see what kind of, because they were generally like a subject specific. And so I would just kind of look at that really quick and then I would skim my paper for all the words and I would just move through those as quickly as possible. And if, if I'm not mistaken, I think they were in alphabetical order on the sheet to look for because it was a, an English or spelling class. So it really made it easy to find them as I, as I located them on the grid, I was able to find them on the thing to cross them off. And then I'd go back and look for the other ones. And the other ones would stand out a little bit more to me because of that. So does anybody else do stuff like that? Like, do they do it that way or? Am I just the, am I just kind of like just just a little crazy all all by myself over here? <laughs> so that's how I get the black paint on, and just like that. And then after they're dry, I'll come back on with the color. And I don't really wait until they're completely dry. I pretty much just do them. They dry fast enough for me, and then I move on to the next step. So I'll be right back. Well, as I'm doing this, I'm realizing there was a reason why I didn't do the black first. I am having a hard time covering up my black with my paint. Maybe it's because I'm using different paints. I honestly don't remember what I did so <laughs> fully. So I just decided I have to go with it. I've already painted all my stuff black. And I came up with this and I actually like it. I think it's cute. It's a little bit different, which is fine. And I still can get those black effects like I like around the edges after this dries. So I started with just the green paint and it wasn't really doing it. And it is a different color green, maybe that's it, I don't know. So what I did is I thought, oh, I'm gonna grab yellow so I can have some brightness coming through because as you can see, there's no brightness and I wanted something a little bit lighter to pop through. And yellow's light and it's bright, so I thought, why not? And so I started just, I was, started, I was doing it just this way but you can really, you can still see the black. Well, let me try one this way, we'll just see. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? And then even if I go in with the green and I pop that on, does that cover it up? I don't know. Oh, it does. Okay, so let's try it a couple of different ways. See what we like. So I can just pull my paint down just to get some, another color on the front. Looks like I'm painting a dress. Isn't that cute? And then I'll show you what I did there. And I'll just do them both ways, why not? Why not, why not, why not? And then I just put this on top. Now maybe I could wait till the yellow dries, but I'm, not only am I impatient, I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time. I do have a heat tool, sort of. It's the embossing heat gun, which is a little bit different. I n will eventually get a good heat gun that I like. So I do like that. Um, let's uh, see. So we have three different ones. I'm gonna get that one, that one. Get the, you're, you're out, you're not, you're not playing in this. And we have this one right here. Maybe if those are kind of separate like that. Let's see, let's see. Maybe if I get you a little closer. So when I look through the camera, I feel like this one, I can see a lot of those black spots. And I, when this dries, I might not like that. This one I can see a little bit. I'm gonna be adding more black. I can't really tell. Does it look different to you? Because I think it always looks different than what I'm looking at when I'm looking into my camera, when I'm looking down. And then when I watch the video, I'm always like, dang it, it's so different. I don't think the kids are gonna care. What am I worrying about? I'm gonna do both of them and see. <laughs> and I'll never remember what I did anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But anyways, you get to see. So, I got so excited I turned the, the recording off. <laughs> so I said, you get to see, and then I was like, beep. <laughs> Anyways, I'm back. So let's just go ahead and finish these little ghosts out really quick, and um, these ones right here, and we'll see, we'll see what happens. I So like I said, I was just stippling the, the paint on with the yellow, um, like a that, like smashing it down, like a little smashing, smashing. And then this one's kind of dry now, so I'm using a different paint 
it doesn't dry as fast as those cheap ones do. Those cheapy cheap ones. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. I believe when I did these, I did not have the, um, I don't know if I had them. This is what I'm using right now, these ones, the Essentials, which I know they're not ex real expensive either, but they are more expensive than these. And these are the types of paints that I was using before. Maybe, I wonder if that's the color I was using. Let's let's see. It doesn't feel like there's very much, so it's a, it's very likely. Ouch. Why, why, why do I think I can one-hand stuff still? I don't know. Whoa. It's, yeah, it already looks better. Let's just try it. Who cares? It's just lots, lots of different greens. So anyways, this is how I do it, and I just learn as I go, and I just put color on until I get what I like. And if all else fails, if I really don't like it, I just wait till it dries, and then I just cover it in white or black or just one solid color that I can work with that, that I can put other colors on top of, like a white or a black. Does that make sense? That's what I do, and um, I'm seeing right now as this one's drying, I'm really not liking it, so I'm gonna add some more stuff on here. And that's pretty much how I got the other ones. I just kind of pop the paint on and then just stop. Just stop it. Like it's done right there. Leave it. And then now that I'm touching them, I'm going to have to do some touch up on the back with the black. Ah, but I'm going to have the black again anyways because I'm going to do these little, you know, side, the swishies. So let me show you really quick here. I've got this paintbrush. I have these ones. I have this really cheap. It's called a chippy a chippy brush. I just get them at Home Depot, and it's super cheap. But I like these two because they help. I think I'm pretty sure this is what I use to get those lines. You know, like just you know swishes. It does lose its little furry things, but so if you don't mind that. And then I also have this one right here. I don't know if I'm gonna use it. It's this one. I think this is a. I don't know what kind what it's for, but I like to smash stuff with it. Yeah, yeah. So let's just see. What if I just take a couple of these colors together? What will happen? Yeah, I just do like a smashy. Smash, 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 smash. So there we go. And then I can get little splots of yellows and greens. And I think I'm just gonna do that with the rest of them and um, I'll be back when I hit another um, element here. All right, a little Jackie time. So, Mr. Jack, Jack O Lantern. Um, I have a few colors. I don't remember what I did. I want to. I'm gonna do something as similar as I can to this. Uh, at the end of the painting, there is. I put gold. There's, that's what you see on there. Some gold shimmers and some black. More on the eyes, and I pulled that through. So that'll happen way at the end. But I want to get color on here, and I don't remember what I did. So I put some yellow in there because I thought that worked pretty good with the ghosts, um, just in case. So I have, this one is Jack-O-Lantern. That's this color right here. So let's, let's see, Jack-O-Lantern. That's this orange right here, which is very light. And then I also have, um, let's see. That's, and these are my Apple Barrel acrylic paints. I also have this one, which is Harvest Orange, and this one was this one right here. And that's, I wonder if any of these are the ones. I, that one's really like see through y. I don't like that. And then we have Pumpkin Orange, and that one's right there. So let me try that one. I'm just using a baby wipe to kind of get that paint off. And then jack-o-lantern well I'm not really sure if any of those were the paints <laughs> but I mean I do have this one right here which is um, I don't know C-A-D cadmium cadmium orange let's try it and see I don't even know if I have this one then oh maybe I did it looks kind of orangey maybe that's why I have orange maybe I bought it for this um, let's see oh yeah I like that one but it's kind of see through y too. All right, let me just get some of this on there really quick so I'm not wasting all that paint. And I, and just so you know, I'm not gonna be wasting the paint anyways. I have a little thing here. I brought, I brought over my uh, mixed media notebook. I just use it for um, 
whatever for fun things but I'm throwing my paint down on there and then I can use those pages later on in something even if it's not for Halloween I can use them for different holidays or just different projects I'll forget that I have it until I open it and I'll then I'll be inspired maybe at some point who knows let's see we want to get paint on all of these so maybe if I just put a little bit of everything on there yeah that's kind of cool yeah I like that just playing around with paint right that's all this is I don't want it to be thick and bumpy though, so I just think I want to put some down and then I'm going to maybe just let it sit for a minute and then I'll come back and, you know, maybe. I don't know. I really don't know. They're not going to look the same as the other ones. That's, that is, that I do know. There, we got some orange in there. I don't know. It's kind of fast though, like this, isn't it? It is kind of fast. It's going to take longer for them to dry. I kind of want to just get like all the painting part things done so I can just put all the paint stuff away. Uh, and then I can bring something else over. Like right now I'm trying to do painty stuff over here because I'm filming. So everything else has been moved. The um, tassels, I'm still working on those. Those are over there. The skeletons that I'm fussy cutting out <laughs> are in a bucket right now waiting. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but um, they are cut out. And I can't wait to show you the best surprise ever that made my life so much easier to cut those out. And I'm not gonna mention any names, Debbie. Oops, whoops, did I? <laughs> but um, <laughs> I gotta save a little bit for later. I gotta save a little something because I have another video and um, there'll be something I'll show on there that Debbie sent me. So anticipation station, anticipation station. That's what it is. Oh my gosh. I want to share it right now, but I want to show you at the same time. So I don't want to spoil it. But um, anyways, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because that made my life so much easier and it did make my project go faster and my hands are not angry. <laughs> so now you guys can probably guess kind of what it is, but I want to show you and talk about it because it's so cool. And, oh my gosh, Madness, Mad, Mad Messy Sandra. I'm not even on the camera, am I? Whoops. Okay. Yeah, so this is super um, messy, and I'm just going to go ahead and just leave them like that, I think. And then I'll come back with the other colors. I don't think it bothers me so much with the black popping through these ones like it was on the Ghost. And maybe the ghosts were only bothering me because I was trying to be exact like it was last time and it wasn't happening. I think that's probably what it is. I was just getting caught up in what I thought I had to do and not realizing I can just just do it, whatever I want, and just let it happen. Just let it happen. All right, so now I have my glove is messy. I'm, gonna, I'm saving them. I have a green glove, I have a black glove, and I have an orange glove. And then I just have them on top of a paper towel, like this. So I take that, and then I'm gonna use my sponge still. Grab my paper here. Sorry if I'm so big up in the camera there, but. And I'm just gonna use a different page. I'm gonna keep my colors separate. And then I'm just gonna take my paint here. And I'm just, all I'm doing is this. And then I got all this yellow here too, so I want to bring that in here too. And it's just, and then I will have this later for uh, as a play. I can doodle on this. I can cut things. I can use. I can punch stuff. I can use it in my Sizzix, you know, to, to create other things. There's just all kinds of stuff. I can even. Um, well, I don't know for sure. I'm thinking I could even use it to uh, run through my printer to print other th things on or some, maybe there's something that I would like as a back, this to be more of a background color. Does that make sense? So I think that's all the paint I'm going to be able to get on that page. So I'm going to, but I'm not going to waste it. I'm just going to grab me another sheet of paper here. I have this roll. This is from 
this is from the paint theme section in like home oh my pants look at all the paint from the um, painting section I believe that's where this is from so I'm just gonna take some of that I'm gonna move these guys over here for just a moment um, I'm gonna get painty <laughs> here all right and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna do the same thing with this so just grabbing stuff that's nearby if I don't have time to move or get up and go get it. And then I'm just going to paint it. Because this isn't just not wasting it. This is just, you know, utilizing my time better. So I'm just creating more projects um, or, you know, um, bases for projects. And I actually have still more paint on my brush, but I'm gonna be using it again, so I'm just gonna put it over there by my glove, or on my glove there. And then I take a baby wipe. Well, here's my orange one right here. And then I'm gonna take my paint from here. I'm gonna smush it up like that on my baby wipe. And I'm gonna grab my mixed media book again. And then I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna dab it dab it on if it will go. Sometimes I can, if I wanted to, I can like smush it around and I can pull some of that color in like that. I mean, I'm not really getting all the paint and I'm probably just moving this other paint that's already there. But I can get texture by doing that as well. Some little spots. Who doesn't want a little spat? There we go. There. Happiness. All right, I'm gonna be right back. All right, and I'm back. So I have this paint, which um, high performance semi gloss for purple. Silly, I do not have very many purple. These are the colors that I have, um, and I don't think I think they're like kind of bluishy purple. I don't believe those are the colors I use. I think I actually use this one. Doesn't that look like it? It sure does. It sure does. So maybe I'll take that one and these two I'm gonna put away, and we're gonna try this one. This one I accidentally used on my jelly plate, and my my jelly plate didn't like it. But it could be that I have terrorized my jelly plates. But I'm not gonna use it on my jelly plate anymore and I wouldn't use it really anywhere else. So I'm gonna just dump it in there and see. I'm just gonna set that on there because I don't wanna have to keep unscrewing caps. That's not really my favorite thing to do. Ouch, okay. Let's see, I'm gonna put some of this in there too. This one is vintage wine. See, it's. I don't think it's the right color, but We'll put some in there. We will see. Yeah, that's not the color. I liked this burgundy color. I guess I always like burgundy. I must just always like it. So I've got me lots of kitties to do. Let's see. And, and watch your shirt. Let's see. Oh, I don't have another um, spongy brush over here. Who am I? Okay, I'll be right back. And I'm back, got to me some brush. I brought another, a second one um, so that I had more than one. Now my water's green, I have green water, but I guess I could have changed my water when I was over there. I like to get these wet. That's okay, I'm not gonna, I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. Is it gonna be that big of a deal? I guess if it is, I'll just paint it again. So I'm almost wondering, let me see. If this one's darker, if I just do that one first, let's do one. Oh, maybe a glove would be nice. Gosh, I love these gloves. I love these gloves. And these, I know I showed them on another video, but that video I, might be coming after this video. So I'm going to show them on this video in case I get questions. Um, these are called AWP Pro Paint. They're 50, I get 50 vinyl disposable gloves. I do not remember how much they were. I just remember that the um, they weren't that expensive and I got 50 of them. They're easy on and off, yes they are. Touchscreen compatible, yes they are. And they're lightly powdered on the inside. They're latex free and they it says fits most. And they're easy, they don't bother me at all. They don't, like they're easy to get on and off. I can take them off, you see me pull them off already and I'll be able to put them back on very simply. Very simply? Wow. Okay. Anyways, let's let's just see if I can get this one on first, um, and then 
and then we can come back in. Maybe, I wonder if that's, I don't think that's what I did just because I can see the wood grain a little bit on the green ghost, but on the last one, see, I'm still stuck on that. I wanna do it exactly like I did it. It doesn't matter, they, they look nice no matter what. So there's that first, and that was that wine color. I guess I'll just do, I got that paint there, do that, and it's that uh, apple barrel paint, so it dries really fast, which I do like. And since I'm not smashing it and like glopping it down, I'm just petting the kitty with it. I mean, honestly, I don't know why I'm covering the whole thing, but that color's not too bad, actually. I wonder what it looks like. Now I'm one, I just don't know. No, yeah, it was a different color, wasn't it? So let's go back in with this color. Yeah, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? What do you think? Can you see? I don't know if my light's doing it any justice. I don't know if all that orange background's doing it any justice. Let's let's get a, let's get a better picture. Does that help? I think so. I think so. This is without the um, acrylic. I like the acrylic one or the acrylic. They're both acrylic, Sandra. Um, I like it better with the plum. That's what color this is, plum. Semi-gloss acrylic plum. All right, so I think what I'll do is I'll grab more of that wine. Let me see. I guess I will be loving on the wine for a minute. So I'm gonna paint them all the wine and then I'm going to paint them all. Whoa, scarred me. Okay, I'm gonna paint them the, I'm gonna paint, so I guess I'm gonna paint them all the wine color, this one right here, and then I'm gonna go back in with that color right there, the plum, and I'll be back. All right, my cats are painted, and I have so much purple paint left. Look at that, I still have that, and I already painted an entire page purple. So I still have this on my brush, and I thought, <laughs> I'm just gonna use it up. So I'm going around my ghost. I started pulling it on to the ghost, and I thought, I like it. It's just adds more. There's already some black, but now there's some purple. Um, my, my new one, so I started on these ones, and there's no black. So I will need to put the black on these ones. However, I do like it with the, um, let me show you. So this one has the black already in there and then I added that purple and now this one just has that purple. So I just need, I still need to add the black into it. And I also had my pumpkins. I thought, well, maybe everybody needs a little bit of purple. I think purple just makes us happy. Um, and see, I got a big glob there, but I like it. I, I like it. So I'm gonna go with some more purple. I think it just adds to the whole aged look of it. So I don't know if I showed you what I was doing. <laughs> so let me show you. I'm just grabbing, there's like my paints. It's kind of a dry brush. Um, I will get a little bit more on there and I'm just pulling it through. I'm hitting it light and heavy just depending on the paint and my also on how my hand is filling. So like that one I went in heavy on accident. Didn't mean to, but that's all right. It's all right, just go with it. I think they're fine. Uh, whoa, and then I just throw them across the desk, you know, because <laughs> why not paint everything else? And the same thing with the pumpkin. I'm just kind of going across. I actually hold them down here. I don't hold them in my hand. Maybe that's part of my issue right now. And then if I want it to go across the eyes or anything, I just, whoops, not like, not like that. That pumpkin's got a mustache, but good night. <laughs> I'll just pull it back a little bit with that baby wipe. Okay. This is the same technique I use with the black. It's the same thing. But the black, I just go a little bit lighter. Um, not as much paint on there because it will definitely take over. Let me try another one. Let's see if we can do this. Not so insane. So, like I said, I'll pull the mouth up. And then I just kind of go with the eyes. That's it. And you, you, it's just, there's no, I don't think there's any right or wrong way. Maybe there's a right way. I don't know. Um, I just like to play with it. And I just keep a baby wipe or a rag, something handy that I can pull back some paint at the moment. So that's what I'm doing. I'm liking adding this extra color on this. This is pretty cool. I'm really glad I didn't do this last year now. So I'm gonna keep on fooling around with this while the cats are drying. And then I will move on to the black and getting everybody caught up to the same, same place. I'll be right back, my friends. All right, back again. I wanted my cats to stand out too, and they're already purple, so I, what am I gonna do? I mean, especially if I put black behind them, you know, I want them, something to happen here. 
Now I'm like, maybe I'm gonna put this on the ghost too. I don't know, should we try it? Let me see. And then I'll show you what this is in a second. This one actually still needs more black around its mouth, I feel like. No, I'm gonna leave, oh, I don't know. I'm gonna stick with the cats. I'm going too far and too deep. I need to be done with this stuff. But what I wanted to show you is this is what I pulled out of my stash. Color Shift, Folk Art, um, Acrylic Paint Italic, 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 <laughs> stop it. Acrylic Paint Metallic Gloss Finish, Purple Flash. So it has like those that metallic -y look on there. So that's what I'm using right now for my kitty cat. And I just grabbed this brush because it was the one I had and I'm just like sh smashing it in my thing, you see in there. And then I'm just kind of going through. Just, I'm trying to make it, you know, so just around the edges so that it pops off, pops off, pops out a little bit. And just letting it go where it wants to go. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm leaving the other ones. I think that helps and that gives it something else. No glove, because you know what? They're not always fun to wear. But um, now I'm gonna go, now I'm gonna go finish and I'll be back. I keep saying that, we'll see. All right, I put that little iridescent color. I actually ended up putting it on the pumpkins and the ghosts because I thought, you know what? It, whoa, <laughs> I think it's gonna look cool since it's a jack-o'-lantern. I think it'll just pick up some light, whatever. I had, I had it, I wanted to use it up. Now I am on to adding the black to my pieces here. And how I do that is, and I think I found this out. So I think what happened is, no, I don't think, I know. To do this was by accident. I was fixing the backs, or I was painting the backs last, I think is what happened. And then I was, when I was doing that, I was like, oh, I could see through their eyes, I could see the wood grain, and so I was, you know, painting them black like so. And then right now I'm just fixing up my, my little paint splotches. And I think I couldn't get it in there. So I was taking my, my little thing and I was like smushing it in there. And I thought, oh, okay, that works. That works great, right? But then when I turned it over, it was seeping through. And uh, since I don't really know what I'm doing, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? So I just thought I'll go with it. And I just picked, I was like trying to grab it out of there. I don't think this is the brush I use. I was just trying to grab it out of there and it did that. And I was like, oh no. And then I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> so I just went with it. And some are gonna be way messy than others and that's fine. I'm just gonna go in and do that. Some of them have a full, full on black face. See how that one came out really black. That was a before one anyways. And then I just went ahead with it and I went around the sides. And I think what happened is, um, this is when I painted the sides of them also. And so I just went with it, just the same thing. Just like that. And that's how they, that's how they came about. Same thing with the pumpkins. Um, I would do the pumpkins right now, but I might not do them on the video. Oh, cause I'm gonna try to remember, maybe this one's dry enough. I went on with another coat of paint. I have these resting on paper towel, which is probably not the brightest thing. It's all right, it's texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. This is not, the, oh, I'm losing my little furry thingies. I don't wanna use that one. So just like so. I'm just gonna pat it. My my paintbrush is pretty. It's getting, it doesn't, it's not happy anymore. So I'm gonna pat it down to cover up all the orange that's on the back that I didn't want there and then I can go ahead and just give it a good smooth over on the back. And then I believe I'm just gonna use my little, this little brush here, even though it's being messy, and I'm just gonna put it in the eyes and the mouth, like so, just to fill it up, so that when I turn it over, I have those pieces coming through. I think I have too much paint on there. I'm gonna stomp some of it off. And so I can't, it's hard, for, um, the light is bouncing off of these. It's hard for me to see where those, I can tell there's little furry things coming off and I can see them. If I remember, I'm gonna pull them off. If not, the kids will just think it's part of Maggie, <laughs> but it's really the paintbrush. And that's, that's how I did it. So then I just went around the edges and just kind of darkened it up, just got it all creepy and goopy. And then I, now I'm gonna take my purple Whoops, there's no purple on there. That plum color, like I did the other ones. Oh my gosh. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of purple like the other ones, except I'm gonna wait. I'm like, I'm gonna paint everything black and then I'm gonna come with the purple, but I'm gonna get them all done. So I'm just gonna show you here so I can finish this out and move on because I'm going a lot faster and I need to go faster, right? I'm going faster, whoops, little furry pumpkin. Who doesn't want a furry pumpkin? And then I use a little bit of this right here. Ooh, am I getting my cute little top all dirty? I don't actually think this color is a good color on me. I don't know. I, I put it on and I was like, what do you think about this color? And Jason's really good. He, he'll always, like, if he likes it, he'll like, oh, I, sometimes I don't even have to say anything. He'll just say, oh, I like that color on you. But if I have to ask him and he stops for a second and I don't get an answer right away, like, he doesn't tell me no. He might say something like, um, I like that other color better. <laughs> or, yeah, um, yeah, I don't hate it. <laughs> That's what he'll say. I don't hate it. Or it doesn't it doesn't look bad. I'm like, well, if it doesn't look good <laughs> If it doesn't look bad, then it doesn't look good. But does that make sense? Like anyways, whatever. Blah blah blah. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these finished up. This guy looks super like weird and creepy, but um I need to brighten them up some. I'll catch you on the next part of this video, my friends. Uh when we finish this up and I'll do a I'll show you what we got. Alright, see you in a bit. Oh my gosh, I almost did this without you. So I went, I did the black already. So that's pretty, I mean, basic. Now I'm going in with gold and I'm working very fast because I have so much to do and I just need to quit being picky with them and just get it on there. And I think that's pretty much how I do most things. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go with it. And the bright, the, the you know, the gold's just gonna brighten it up. After I get the gold on, I'm gonna go in and put the other colors on. So I've got gold on my kitty cat. I put some gold on my ghost, which I don't think I actually have gold on my other ghost. I don't, you know, but I've been putting colors on them. Base, I'm just layering. So somebody probably already called that and is like, you know what, Sandra, just layer. That's what you do. That is what you do. You always do it and you always like it. So just layer, right? And it doesn't matter, right? I mean, he's cute. He's cute. And I got baby wipes. I can wipe stuff back if I don't like it. I can do that if I want to. But if I just go fast and go with the program, I'm happy, happy, happy. And look at my kitty cats. I got that little around them. And if I want more gold now that I have it out, I can do that. But you know what? I need to just be done. I'm like, I'm so excited to be done with this part of it. Because um, as much as I love doing it, I think I just do so many. I get a little overwhelmed. But... It's all fun. It really is fun to do. And it's just layering. And no, there's like no rhyme or reason. I think I tried so careful in the beginning to be very careful with everything. And then I was, and then after that, when I get going, I'm like, oh, I just don't have time. I have so many. And this is when I go crazy. And then this is when I usually come up with stuff that I just really love. And if I really don't love it, then I just give it to somebody else who either loves it or wants to play with it. Now I'm gonna go back on all my ghosts and get this gold on there because I do like it. And um, and then I'm gonna take that purple, I'm gonna go with purple on some of these pumpkins like I did on the other ones. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of that iridescent around the edges. So I'm just gonna work through all of these now. They're pretty much dry. And I need more gold. So the gold I'm using, really quick here, is I, I, I'm so sorry that I cannot read any of this stuff. Metallic Inca Gold uh, Folk Art Plaid. I don't know. Um, I just have had it forever and whoops. Okay, well, there's a lot of gold in my little bowl, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You know, I'll definitely be using it. So I'm just going through here and I'm going to add this on there. And then if I think I have too much or not enough, I can go back. That's when I can go back in and add more. But once I do this, I'm putting my paints away. I don't think I need them for anything else. Um, whoa, look at that big old gloppy glob. Let's get that. Oh my gosh. I just don't want to waste it. I'm going to just set this one aside for a second. I know I have extra paint on it, so then I can grab it now if I need it. <laughs> do I stress anybody out when I do stuff like this or, or paint like this? That's already got it on there. I don't think I need that on there. This has already got some, but that's where all that lightness that I said before that I liked is on those. Okay, so I'm going to grab some of this paint here. I'm going to wipe some of it back. 
and that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I took all that care to make sure I painted just like this and just like that, and then I'm just like going in my mad, crazy way and just putting it everywhere, so. I just wanna make sure I have enough on these kitty cats everywhere. This is how I drive, by the way, <laughs> and this is how I cook. So, um, I make my, my, my husband just like stresses out sometimes. And he watches me. I'm like, I'm not a, I just, just go away, go away. <laughs> Don't stress me out. <laughs> He's like, stress you out. You're stressing me out. And I'm like, well, I clean up after myself. So just be happy. So there we go. And, oh, look it. And I think, do I worry about it? I might come in at the very end and just touch up all my pieces with the black on the back. And that's it. But I feel good. I feel good. I feel like I got a lot of it. I got it all done. Yep. Okay, so now I'm just going to paint off, um, this is the gold. I still need to do my silvers and my and my purples. So, I mean, I guess I don't really have to go in with the purple if I don't want to, but this is what I did. Might as well just put a little bit of purple on them while I'm at it. We'll throw that one over there. That one's got purple. Some of them already have it. I did like it, I will say. So the ones that we were doing... Like, see how the pieces of purple are right there? So th that one's fully finished, I feel like. It's got all the colors. I'm going to throw it on that paper. Actually, you better be careful. These are just from the dollar store. They're not that expensive or, you know, made. This one, something's wrong. Something's wrong with him. He's not bright and cheery. Oh, I just don't have enough gold, maybe? No, the gold is fine. I don't know. Black, I don't know. Do they all have to look the same? They don't, right? They, that one can look like multicolor. That looks like it, <laughs> like somebody bruised up that pumpkin. Anyhow, I need to go back and just um, slow my roll. Let's just slow my roll. Maybe I need that darker purple in there. Why am I going with purple on the, or on the jack-o'-lantern? We never, we don't know. Maybe I need some black. Good thing I still have all the colors. I mean, there's like no orange on here. Maybe that's part of it. I have some orange. Let me get some of that black off. I have some orange right here. Let me see if it'll come through. Nope, ain't happening. If I don't like it, I can just repaint it. So I can just take that. Just take that, Jack. I'm gonna stick it up there and then that's what I'll do. I'll just come back and I'll fix that. But I think for now, I'm done. I'm gonna go ahead and leave these like this. Um, I need to still put my little um, jump rings or a little tie. Um, whatever is going to be the easiest. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to use to make my little thingy to hang it on the tassel. So when I come back, I will show you that. Thanks, you guys, for hanging out with me and watching me do my crazy, messy painting again. Um, I enjoyed I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. See you on the next video. Bye. So I have too much paint, too many different colors, and it, the orange wasn't showing through. And I was just making mud. So I decided to take a wipey and just rub it. What, I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? So I'm doing that and I'm pulling it back to this, some of this color. I've got some of these lines. I actually don't mind that. That doesn't bother me. So um, Mr. Mustache right here. <laughs> Looks like he was like the, like the Kool-Aid man. Do you remember him? But um, yeah, he's still fine. And I'm also like mixing my, I think I have black on here and green, orange. So yeah, it definitely making like muddy mud. Muddy, muddy mud. So, um, if I want just some gold on here, just to brighten them up, I can do that. And then I can remember that, I can remember, I think I can remember, I don't know what I did with my black. I put everybody away, I thought I left one of my blacks, here it is. I thought I left a black out, a black out. No blackouts. Oh my gosh. So, let's see here. I wanted to just put a little bit more. Maybe I'll use this um, other brush here, the one that I liked to use before and I didn't. This one, I don't think the bristles come out as easy as that um, chippy brush. These are just those you know cheap paint brushes. I don't even know what they're called, but um, see, they just it just you just get the chips with the color on there, whatever color you're using. And I think that just helps. There we go. 
Just needed some definition, I guess. I took all this definition away when I put all the colors on there. We gotta have some coming through. There, much better. Good job, Sandra. <laughs> lordy, lordy. Alrighty, so here's the one I wiped back. I'm gonna put a little bit um, on the edges just to get pull them back. I mean, these sure as heck can be colorful. I mean, those tassels are so colorful. They're actually so pretty. I really like how they're coming out. Um, can I believe? <laughs> I'm like, this is gonna be easy. I'm gonna just cut this and cut this, but they're taking forever. They are easy, but they're taking forever because I'm making so many. How am I ever gonna get stuff in my store? <laughs> and the next holiday's coming right up, it's Christmas, so I gotta make something that's not too, that's not too hard because, or maybe not too many steps so that I can get other stuff done. Okay, well, I guess at the very least it keeps me busy and it keeps me out of trouble, mostly. This is the time of year, if I was gonna post this other thing I did, um, my prank, I think I've talked about it before, I think I did, where I um, did the doll, I planted succulents inside of um, doll heads, or at, created them to be planters, and then I did not do this at Halloween time. This was just a, let's have fun. So spring is when we, spring and summer, so you know, getting them together, and I had to get the succulents after they were planted, they had to grow and get you know, situated in their new little planter thingy. Anyways, and then we just went around town and um, put them around. I'm pretty sure I talked about this already. I don't think I ever showed a picture of it, though. I do have a picture of them after we made them sitting on, I don't, maybe I did post a picture, I don't know, but they're sitting in the, my front yard on these little rocks, <laughs> um, getting some sun. As we were making them, we were just putting them in the sun, and I watered them really good, and then I had to move them into... I, I had to move them out of the walkway there, so I put them in a wagon, in just like over by where one of my little gardeny areas, and um, there they stayed until they got nice and, you know, full, and then we went and distributed them at people's houses, in their yards, in their barbecuers, um, on their door not their um, door handles of their vehicles, you know, like um, like a little Barbie heads things like that and and actually um, so Shane the one so she's a real estate agent she works at pro staff realty um, and she is the one that I'm her well I work for her and Emmy they doing the assisting them with the property management blah 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 anyways <laughs> Shane is one of the recipients she was one of the recipients of that um, one of the heads she's was talking about that the other day. I thought, oh, that's so cute. Everybody, I think, kept them. They might have rehomed them to other people. I only, and I don't, I'm not sure who it was, but only one person brought theirs back when I got home one day. My, it was there was one sitting at my front door. So, and I thought, oh, I thought I liked it. I did, but I never. I don't think I knew if they just didn't like it or if they were like just trying to, like, give me get me back. But I don't have it. I ended up just rehoming it to somebody else because whoops because that's so much fun <laughs> whoa so you know and it's okay if they're all different they don't all have to be the same do they it just I think it makes it easier when I'm putting them on their tassels like this family of four and that family of four and that family of two and that family of three and what is the big deal we, I don't know what the big deal is I just think I need a little bit more definition around the edges I give up on the gloves, can you tell? <laughs> I have them all here. It's just that I'm mixing, I'm doing so many different colors. I was like off, on, off, on. And I can just wash my hand one time. Yeah, so you gotta tell me what you think. Do you like this? Is this something you would do? Or are you just like, heck no, it's way too messy. I mean, not just with Halloween, but with anything. <laughs> Um, but these would make a cute garland. Um, 
you know, like with the beads and you can hang these. I'm not gonna make another garland this year. Um, I did make a garland with the beads and um, I made my own little ghost. I, I showed that in one of my hauls, one of my hauls or my walkthroughs I, on, on a video, I showed it. It was like a quick show, but um, I just took my wooden beads and I painted them and kind of did like, I think I did like a light paint, like I painted them and then I just wiped them back with a paint, baby wipe maybe. But um, then I made a little ghost out of white felt and I took black thread and I stitched around it, you know, to make it a little thing. And then I don't remember what the eyes are. I, oh, that I just used, I was crafting with, a, with kids and so we just used black felt to make the eyes. But if I was to do it again, I would take, I think mine's a black felt. It might be buttons. I would just use buttons. And just to make it a little bit more creepy, I would use black buttons with like white thread or something to make them like so that it looked like a cross. I would want it, you know, the buttons that have the four holes. So it looks like a, an X, not a cross, an X. Okay, well, you're gonna keep your little gold golden side eye thing there, kitty cat. All right, there we go. There we have it, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go get, grab my, um, with my messy hands, I'm gonna go grab that garland really quick so you can see it. All right, here it is. So I made my little tassel right here and I just used some fibers. Oh man, I must not have had that when I was doing it. Yeah, they're just felt. We just, we just cut the eyes out. This is just a little felt, little uh, felt, felt. We glued them is what we did. So we cut our shapes out. We I had the kids, we made like a little, you know, like a little shape, cut it out. And we used that to cut the, our shapes of our ghosts out. And then we went around all the edges with hot glue and we glued it so that these pin, these are like right here, that's glued. Well, it's supposed to be. <laughs> And then, and then at the bottom, we left it open, we stuffed them, and then we glued it. Then we went in and we did the sewing just to help to find it. And that helped get it, we can get it as puffy as we could. I'm not, I'm not a stitcher. I just did my best and I just chose those colors. And then here's my beads. And I just, I think I just used these two sizes and these are the colors I used. Well, we, the kids and I, we painted a whole bunch of beads. I pretty much just let them pick all the beads they wanted and this is what was left over. Um, and some of the ones I wanted. We all painted what we wanted. So then I have my little garland. And I believe by the colors that I'm using here, I'm thinking this is when um, one of the movies came out. Um, oh my gosh. You know, the movie. Gosh dang it, I can't think of it. Um, well, you know, I smell children. I smell children. I know somebody here knows the name of the movie. <laughs> Anyhow, so that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing my little edging on these. I'm gonna put clean this up, put this away, and I'm gonna tackle some tassels. So I will see you in the next video, my friends. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'm, I hope you enjoy all your moments. <laughs> Bye.